Good day, my lovely people. Welcome yet again to my channel, Eleanor's Chronicles, and my name is Eleanor. My lovely people, news, news just in. This one, I'm not sure. Because, you know, when things are just on Twitter and you can't find them from any other media houses, the news becomes iffy. Apparently, according to a certain post that I saw on um, Twitter, one of R. Kelly's victims, or oh, girlfriend, because remember, Abantwana Lava actually beba Jolana, you R. Kelly. It's the parents who were having a problem. So, it was actually cases of statutory rape. Apparently, one of the girlfriends or the victims who, are, who happened to be 16 then, I'm not sure now, a communication was intercepted between herself and her mother of during those times whereby the mother is giving her tips on how to seduce Arcade. And the communication is quite explosive because the lady is so graphic telling the child, Uguti, you had better start listening to me, put on some shiny lipstick. When you dance, you had better wiggle, hold on to him, grab his arm, put it put his arm on your body and all of those things which the boring thing about this is which is very concerning that should this be true with this one compromise case just one compromised person the whole house of cards can come down for all the victims, all of them. Which is what angers me every time with people who lie or say they are joking. Hmm? What? Oh, did they want to be part of a settlement agreement or... I don't know what possessed them to do it, but then if it's true, it can be game over for all the victims. Because now R. Kelly's lawyers can easily argue a case of entrapment. It's not like most of us, we, I know Mina for one, I was questioning what I Especially with the wife, would on a jiggy jiggy note, Arkeli Segu is Luani Ukalen in Uba is Luan. Now that maybe Imali and Ikalunipa, now you want to get rid of him so that you can have all his cash that's remaining, seeing that you are now close to being bankrupt or already bankrupt or whatever the case is, but the money ain't there anymore. If he was still your chicken that was still laying golden eggs, were you still gonna call him Islani? Because hmm? for me now, I for one, believe you me, in case the R. Kelly, I just thought would he merely is because it's going down if he was still on the pedestal money wise none of, none of his victims nor his wife were going to complain that was me so it's not like i'm sure i'm not the only one who was thinking it but then, on a serious note, where there is smoke, there is always fire. It's not like Arkeli is innocent. 
somewhere, somehow, somewhere in that pile of all those girls are real cases. Now those are the ones who are going to be traumatized. Because if this house of cards falls, they all get branded with the same brush. Which can have oof, devastating outcomes long term. Even for their careers. Never mind the cases that R. Kelly can bring against them once he comes out in terms of lawsuits. Hmm? Which is what I hate most of the time of courts taking lawsuits from people who were accused of rape, statutory rape or any type of sexual offense. Because the real victims are going to be re-victimized as well because of one idiot. One demon-possessed idiot. Hmm? And the demon mother. Think about it. What type of a mother is that? Telling your sixteen year old Yinda ne Angelia seven Zisabagit. Imagine Uti Is that what we do as mothers? Ah Angas, my lovely people, please comment down below. Tell me, do you think it's true? Do you really believe Uguti? there can be one compromised accuser from this pile of Archelis accusers out there who is compromised and who's running a risk of having the case thrown out? Or the sentence resigned it because he's already most saving his 30 year sentence. And the only thing that I can find from the media houses is that actually that 30 year sentence, one year was actually added on top because recently another child trafficking case was brought forward and he got one year added to the 30 years recently. So, in any case, comment down below, tell me what you think. See you in the next video.